I'm Lewis Cook and this is my team for squad battles. Uh, I'm going to play 4-3-1-2. Um, Confort De Gea, I think obviously he's been consistent for the last few years and um, he's actually in my team, um, my personal team, so um, I put him in there. I think some of the saves he's made recently is just world class so, um, and his distribution is really good as well so I think he's a top, top keeper. Uh, yeah, I've gone for John Joe Kenny. Um, obviously I've played with him in England for uh, right through the ages. We played in the Euros um, when we were under 17, we won that and then obviously the World Cup. So. Um, yeah, he's one of my mates, great lad, so I thought I'd put him in. I think he deserves a higher card than he is at the moment, 57's not. He's played quite a lot this year, so I think he deserves an upgrade. Yeah, again, Joe Gomez is another, another one who I've played with um, growing up um, in England. Um, and obviously, he's gone to Liverpool, done really well there, played a lot. Obviously, he plays right back, I think, at Liverpool, but um, when I've played with him, he's been predominantly centre, centre back. Um, again, great lad, um, really dedicated and things, so um, a great player as well. Yeah, Brad Smith, uh, he's one of my boys here, so um, I'm always chilling with him uh, off the pitch and just had to put him in or he'd be angry at me. Um, a great pace, um, again I think he deserves a higher card than that and even more pace I think. Um, so yeah, he's a, he's a good player and again a good lad. It's mainly my back four, it's good lads. Yeah, again another good lad, um, Nathan Aki. Um, obviously this year he's been one of our best players. Um, he came with us before he went back to Chelsea and he was great, um, scored goals and He's come back, signed here and, and really kicked on. I think he's played near enough every game and every game has been very consistent. Again, chipped some goals and um, yeah, he's a great lad as well. Good chemistry with the Bournemouth lads as well? Yeah, um, full 10 chemistry, so that's the main thing. Yeah, um, put Kante in. I think um, he's in my FIFA team, personal one. I think on FIFA he's just he's, he's a must-have there. Um, he just seems to be everywhere on the pitch and a lot of interceptions and stuff. He's, he's a real rush, rush on the game. You can't really get away from him. Um, same in, in, when you play him in real life, to be fair, he's a real good uh, defensive player and um, he can pass the ball as well. You don't really say anything about Iniesta. I think he's uh, had such an established career and um, the way he can manipulate the ball and just play them little intricate one, one, one two touch passes. and. Uh, he can also dribble the ball. I think you don't actually realise until you watch him quite a lot that he's actually really fast on the ball, um, running with the ball. Um, and obviously, playing for Team in Barcelona for so long, um, he's a top, top player. If you're playing uh, professional football, I think you can get in touch with EA and get a Euro 99 card, which uh, I think the stats are just ridiculous and stuff. So it's a bit of a, a bit of a cheat, really, if you get that. But um, yeah, it's me, centre mid. Um, I change myself to striker sometimes because you can go centre forward to striker and stuff, so um, yeah, all the overall stats are really good, so. Yeah, from Aldinho. Um he's in my squad as well, he's probably the best player in my squad, he's probably better than my 99 card to be fair, uh, he's ridiculous, I think, um, obviously he's a person with, uh, again, um, a great career, um, he's played top club for so long, um, and the skills he does I really admire, and um, the way he's always smiling on the pitch I really like as well. Um, yeah, Dom Calvert-Lewin, um, he's again someone I've, I haven't been since the start of England but he came quite late but um, he really kicked on and obviously he scored the winning goal for the World Cup so I kind of had to put him in. Um, again he's a great lad, he works really hard off the pitch and um, he's doing well this season, he's played a lot of games which is good to see. Lionel Messi, again he's just he's just one of a kind, he's a freak really, I don't really know how he can do some of the stuff he does. Um, and recently he's got three, got three free kicks in a week or something, which is incredible. Um, he never fails to amaze everyone and I think we're lucky to be, I think we're lucky to be alive while he's alive really. Um, uh, he's a great, great person to watch and admire and a lot of people I think look up to him. He's my roomie, um, growing up for England so uh, been on holiday a few times with him so he's, he's one of our real close friends. Um, great player as well, I think he's up for football. Um, league player of the month or something recently, so he's doing well at, uh, out of Blackburn. Um, Isco, based my game around him quite a bit, I like watching him. Um, Callum Wilson, obviously, he's had so many informed cards recently, he's doing really well and um, scoring the goals he wants to score. Um, Calvin Phillips, um, Dan Gonslin, both centre midfielders, played with both of them. Um, group with Calv, um, great player, um, playing quite a lot of leads now, so that's good to see. And obviously, Gozo being on a 
been playing with him quite a while now. Um, had to put him in there, I'd probably be angry as well. Um, but yeah, he's a great player, great lad. Um, you know what you get from him, real hard working player and um, yeah, technically really good as well. And yeah, Puyol just needs someone to strengthen that defence up, seeing as um, the, uh, the back four needed a few upgrades, I think. Um, but yeah, he's a, I just like how much of a leader he is and how he can manage the team and really um, it's just it's what football is all about really, the way he played the game. Um, and yeah, Dom Slanky, another player that I've played, um, played with England, got the golden boot at the uh, World Cup, so that's a massive thing.